Hey guys, it's Tabitha from Flapjack, and I just wanted to share with you about poke cards. These are cards that I place in my mass center groups pretty much all year long. They're self-checking, a lot of fun, hands-on, and my students really enjoy these. So just hold on for a second and I'll show you how they work. To make your poke cards, it does take a little bit of work. You have to print them out, cut them, then laminate them and cut them again. Then you hole punch on the plus signs, and then on the back you circle the correct answer or some people have placed those hole protector stickers on them also, whatever way works for you. Now with these, when you're prepping them, don't do this yourself. Of course, obviously send them to parent volunteers or if you have early finishers, they can help you, especially with the hole punching and circling the right answers because then they're getting that math practice anyway. Or you can also ask a parent if you can send this home with a student and have them work on it. Just all depends, but it doesn't have to be a lot of work. Just delegate and make sure you're not spending all your time creating or prepping these games. For your students to play with the poke cards, they'll need some type of poker. Of course, you want to be careful as to what you use, but I found that coffee stirrers, you can get some from Starbucks, they'll donate them that are really cute. And I really like getting cupcake picks from cake decorating places or Party City, and you can get seasonal ones to go with seasonal poke cards, which just makes it even more fun and engaging for the students. Students then place the cards in a stack or they can also just spread them out or place them in a box. I wouldn't place them in a bag because they could pick out a card on the answer side, but I have them placed in a canvas box all face up and so they can just pick out a card to work on. They solve whatever skill problem is on the card and then they poke the right answer with their poker and they can either self-check if they're by themselves and turn the card around and see if they poke the circle that is marked or if I have them with other students, I always tell them to have a partner check. This just reinforces accountability that they're really doing it right and that somebody else is checking them and not just themselves. But they can also do this independently by themselves for early finishers also. So I hope I've explained this clearly enough for those who have been interested in these poke cards. I have a link in the info box that goes to my freebies and my resources so you can check all those out and if you enjoy this video please give me a thumbs up so i'll know or comment and definitely subscribe for more videos like this one thank you so much for watching i wish you the best in your continued journey as a teacher and hope to see you soon Bye bye